everybody, it's Lisa from Shabby Road Studio. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Thursday, and that means we are doing another upcycling video. Today, as you probably saw in the community tab, we are working with this really cute little jean jacket. It's, it's that, um, it's very light. It's not a stiff jean denim. It's 65% cotton, 34% polyester, and 1% spandex. So it's, you know, it's more uh, flimsy than a regular denim. We're gonna work with this, and I pulled out something from my stash. I don't, I'm not even sure where I got this. Pro probably garage sale or something. But it's this really cute eyelet dress. There's a lot of good eyelet fabric on here. I'm not gonna wear it as a dress. It's too small for me. I'm a chubby girl, so. <laughs> um, this is was purchased strictly for upcycling with it. And then I am in love with, I have a vintage sheet and it came with this one vintage pillowcase. Isn't that adorable? You know, we just don't have these fun prints on our sheets anymore. They're just all solid colors. I love this, so pretty. Um, so we're gonna do something with this and this and this. So stay tuned. Oh, so I have to get, I have to tell you, I was just moving this around and I heard something in the pocket and I didn't uh, look right away because I thought it was probably just somebody's shopping list. Um, so I just went to see what it was and it's a five, it's a $5 bill. <laughs> I don't think this jacket even cost me $5. So bonus. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut off this this bottom, it's like two or three inch uh, bottom hat waist band thing, I guess, yeah. So we're gonna cut this off first. I'm gonna cut it right underneath the hem so that I get a nice straight, nice straight line when I'm cutting. No need to measure. Right through that heavy one. There we go. So we're gonna use this. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use it. We're gonna set that to the side. The next thing I wanna do is, well, open the sides up because this is, I mean, it's a medium, but it's it just seems kinda small to me. Um, I'm not really, guessing that I would be making this big enough to fit me, but I would like to open up the sides and give it a little bit more room because it is pretty, it's pretty small. Even for, like a, for a medium, it seems smaller than a medium to me. So what I wanna do is open up the side just, just under, the armpit here. So I'm trying to think how I want to do that. I, I think I'm going to get the seam ripper and see if I can rip that seam open. If not, I'll just cut into it. Okay, I added one of my big lights. I hope you can see better. So I'm just going to try to get this going with the seam ripper. All right, 
I'm gonna keep working on this and I'll come back. Okay, so I have seam ripped this one up to about an inch underneath the arm and I have seam ripped this one the same. So that's what we have to work with. We're just gonna put in a, um, a little triangle of fabric to open up this jacket a little bit more. It just, it was so crunchy. <laughs> um, and for a tiny person, that's good, but I feel like there's, you know, bigger sizes out there that would appreciate um, an artsy piece of clothing. Do you know what I'm saying? So um, I try to make my things a little bit bigger. So that's what we're gonna do with this jacket. And I'm gonna try to decide if I want a piece of pillowcase, if I want a, a piece of this in there. So let's just check, see what that would look like, sort of. We lay this over. So it would be something like that. It would give us kind of that, that look with this beautiful pillowcase, both on, on both sides. Or, or, but wait, there's more. Um, I don't know why I keep saying that. We could use a piece of eyelet the same way and have it look like that. But I do want to use this because I absolutely love it and I think it'll go good with this jean jacket. Plus it's flowers. Um, I'll probably take this jacket with me to my craft show. <laughs> you guys are going to get so sick of hearing about that craft show, right? Okay, you only have two weeks. And then I'll be quiet about it because it'll be over. Anyway, um, I want to use this just because I love the animal print and the flowers. So probably I will put the, the uh, pillowcase print in here. And then this, again, you know, I buy things for the ruffle on the bottom all the time. Because it's already a ruffle. Guys, it's already made into a ruffle. All you have to do is cut above it and attach it to whatever you want. So my hope, <laughs> my hope with this project is to attach this gorgeous eyelet ruffle to the bottom of my jean jacket while also incorporating this. And I'll probably incorporate it in some other places, but um, yeah, that's, that's the plan want to open the side of this pillowcase up to get it, you know, I want to open it up to get the full amount of fabric spread out so I know how much I have to work with. So I'm just cutting up that side seam right next to it, just, you know, close so I don't waste a bunch of fabric, but just Kind of going up the side next to the seam and then I'm going to open the end same way just next to the seam yeah there is a lot of fabric here now just from this one pillowcase. So if you see a pillowcase at a thrift store or, you know, at an estate sale or something and you like the fabric, grab it because there's actually more fabric here than you think. Okay, so I've got a piece of like a plastic sheet underneath this. So I'm going to make 
a pattern or a template, whatever. Um, this is going to open up about seven inches on the bottom. So we're going to go from there to there and then draw this out okay so I cut the triangle out every time I do this I feel like it's not it's off a little bit anyway close enough um, I am going to I didn't really go bigger on the plastic I'm just gonna kind of cut out about a quarter of an inch on the outside of this template to leave myself more fabric. And then I'm gonna take this one and just use this one for the other side. There, we got two now, so we can Move this out of the way. Good. I have taken the triangles and I have just kind of folded that edge back under where I took out the seam and I've just pinned a triangle there and I did the same here and pinned it. So now I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine and I'm probably going to do a zigzag stitch. Um, yeah, probably going to do a zigzag stitch and go up and around so I'll be back when I'm done with that okay so I am back from the sewing machine I sewed this little triangle in with a cute little zigzag stitch and this one so that turned out nice okay so when I try this on the mannequin I am NOT happy with the links even when um, even with adding on my ruffle, I'm not really happy about, it's just, it's a little shorter than I had hoped it would be. So, um, I think I'm going to borrow some fabric from the sleeves and I think we're just going to make this sleeveless. So I'm going to cut... Let's see, I wanna just cut on the outside of that seam. And then hopefully when this is washed and dried, that will fray and look kinda neat. That's why I wanna leave about a quarter of an inch of the jean fabric around this armhole. Okay, so we have both arms cut off. Yeah, I like it. It's for summer anyway, so having the arms cut off is just cute. You can wear a t-shirt under it, um, so I'm happy with that. Next, I wanna take the sleeve and just cut off the cuffs. So I'm going to open up the sleeves right here at the seam. I'm gonna do the other one. That way I can get an idea of 
how much fabric I have to use to hopefully add a little bit to the bottom. Now I'm just going to take the eyelet ruffle, I'm going to take the eyelet dress and take off the ruffle. I'm just going to cut this off from the dress like about an inch above the ruffle. Okay, so after thinking about this uh, overnight, because I started these videos yesterday, um, this is what I ended up with some usable strips from the arms. But in kind of putting this on the jacket, I think, and this is, again, this is how upcycling goes. You just change your mind um, mid-project. Sometimes something just doesn't look like it did in your head. And this is another example. Um, I think what would look better is a long strip of this fabric, because we don't have very much of this fabric on the jacket so far. We just have those two triangles. And I really want <clears throat> to showcase this gorgeous flowers and <clears throat> the animal print. So according to my jacket, all the way around the bottom hem is 55 inches. I don't wanna cut just 55. I wanna kinda cut, um, I want it to kind of be ruffled a little bit, even though we're gonna add this ruffle on to it. So it's gonna be kind of a ruffle on top of a ruffle. At least in my head, that's what I see. So let's just see how this goes. I'm gonna cut some strips. Now I'm not gonna, they don't need to be super super big because I don't want it that long, but I just didn't want to put the ruffle, uh, the white eyelet ruffle right onto the jean jacket. Um, I still think it needs a little length. So I'll just get some of these strips cut out of this pillowcase and then we'll go from there. So I cut three strips that are about mm, approximately five inches wide and I have attached them together to make a long strip. And that is what we're going to go add to the bottom of the jean jacket. And I'm going to kind of, like I said, you know, pinch gather this as we go. It's m much more than we need. So um, we're just gonna gather it a little bit and then we will be adding this ruffle to the bottom. It's gonna be cute. You'll see. Okay, so I have sewn the ruffle, the um, pillowcase ruffle onto the bottom of the jean jacket. It looks so cute. I'm going to insert pictures into the um, video right here so you can see it on the mannequin. Um, so now my plan was to add this ruffle. But now I am not so sure I'm going to have enough because there's a lot of ruffle here. And this piece has to sew on here. And I don't know if I'm gonna have enough. <laughs> and that's, you know, again, that's just how it goes. Um, so we'll just figure it out as we go. We'll just figure it out. I will um, do some, I don't know. I'll, I'm 
maybe we'll have to go and attach it under the jacket and have it, I don't know if you can see that. Maybe I'll have to attach it up here to the bottom of the jacket and let it just fall under this. That might actually work better. It'll still give us a little length, but I won't need all, see, see you know what I mean? Like I need enough eyelet fabric to go on all of this. This is a big ruffle. I don't think I have enough, but I do have enough, I'm pretty sure, <laughs> uh, um, to go around the bottom of the jean jacket and it will fall under this. It will look really cute. So maybe that's just what we'll do instead. That'll be um, just fine and it, it will give me the, both of the looks that I was after. So let me, um, let me measure this up and we'll see which direction I'm gonna go. Okay, so I measured this eyelet ruffle all along the bottom here and I still ended up short. So um, when I upcycle, I don't, I don't play on stuff out. I'm just, that's just the kind of crafter, sewer, artist person I am. I just kind of go with it. So in thinking that this eyelet ruffle was gonna be enough, and then I added this much in the sides. But that just gives you, I don't know, it gives you space to create differently I don't know so anyway it comes to it comes to over here and it's gonna be too short so on either side I have just taken a piece that's left from this pillowcase I'm gonna sew it to either either side of this eyelet ruffle and then um, this is gonna give me enough when I get to that point this is gonna ruffle up a bit and then this is just gonna hang in the very back center of the jacket. I think it's gonna turn out really cute. So let me go sew this up and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, you guys, it, it turned out so cute. I hope you can see it. I'm just trying not to do as many mannequin, uh, taking this to the mannequin and um, doing trying to get my camera or my phone to get a good angle and stuff um so i'm trying to do more flat uh visualization for you at the end i'll put it on the mannequin so you can see how it turned out but in the in between i'm just gonna show you with it laying on the table so as you can see this one went under and then let's flip it over it has this double ruffle back here of the pillowcase. I am gonna go around, this is still raw edge and normally on a lot of my clothes I leave the raw edge because I really like it. Um, gives it that rustic shabby look but I think for this one I'm gonna just go around it with zigzag. So I'm gonna be doing that. Also, um, over here, so we still have this piece that we cut off the bottom, you know, that, that went around here. Like that. I'm gonna utilize this up here, I think. So, I thought about taking, maybe it's this way. No, let's see. Yeah, okay, so this side will go here. I just want to cut it off and sew it across there to give it just a little added piece of interest. I don't know if you can see it. So I thought I would add that and maybe before I sewed it on, put a little flower applique up there. So we'll see. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and zigzag around, dry this. Um, excess piece and see how it ends up. So I'll see you when I'm done. Okay, here she is, uh, the finished product. So I added those flaps at the top of the shoulder and I appliqued a couple of little, a couple of the little white flowers from the, from the um, pillowcase fabric. I 
think she turned out really, really adorable. Um, can you see this thrown over like a white t-shirt? Um, even over some cutoffs or blue jeans. Super cute. And on the back, up there, I just added a little patch. I like, like I said, I like to put something in that spot. But I'm just trying to get a visual for you without actually always having to be in the video myself. Um, yeah. So, I don't know. What do you think? I'm happy with it. So, hopefully, somebody at the craft show will snatch it up. If not, it'll be in the Etsy shop soon after the craft show's over. I love it. And again, um, this area should fray up nicely after you wash and dry. And also this one right here, the seam here and here is left raw. That will also fray. It'll look so cute and so um, artsy. And I just really like the way it turned out. I'm glad I cut the sleeves out. It would have looked okay with them, but I'm really glad I cut them out just because um, it's a summary. Um, thanks for hanging out with me again, you guys. I appreciate you watching, and um, I'll see you on the next video. Bye!